So, you got some new content for me? Yes, sir, I do. The people demand their Marvel content. Yeah, they do. Well, less and less. Oh, uh, well, I wrote some stuff anyway. Yeah, that's totally fine. So I'm thinking we do a show about Maya Lopez. Oh, interesting. And tell me something, who is that? We introduced 736 new characters last year. She was in the Hawkeye show, a little. Uh, also goes by Echo. You know, I think that does sound kind of familiar, and that works for me. Let's give her her own show. Amazing. So a good chunk of the first episode is going to be kind of like an extended previously on segment to get people up to speed. Really, a good chunk. Yeah, well, people are always complaining that it's hard to keep up with all the Marvel stuff, so if a good chunk of the first episode is kind of previously on, that'll shut people up. I feel like there might be a nice middle ground. No, and during that whole backstory bit, I figure that's a good opportunity to have Daredevil come in. He's from She-Hulk! You know it, sir. They're going to have this big old fight scene, and sometimes it's going to look like they're hitting each other. Man, it's really going to help with marketing to have Daredevil in this show. We're gonna lean into that heavily. Uh, well, he's literally just in that one scene. I don't care. I don't care. Well, okay then. So what actually happens in the show? Well, like five months after shooting Kingpin in the face at the end of Hawkeye, Maya's on the run and heads back to her hometown in Oklahoma. And what does she want to do there? Take over from Kingpin and become the Queen Pin. From Oklahoma? Yes, and so since she's being followed by bad guys, she's putting her whole family at risk. Oh man, what's she gonna do to protect them? Nothing. She doesn't seem to care about that. Oh, and she's also gonna provoke the bad guys by planting some explosives on their cargo heading to New York. Couldn't that potentially explode anywhere and hurt a lot of innocent people? Yeah, she's a badass. Kinda messed up. Well, she's an anti-hero, so it's badass. Oh, okay. So anyway, at a certain point, her and two of her family members are gonna get kidnapped by bad guys at the roller skating rink her uncle works at. Uh-oh. And Maya's prosthetic leg is gonna come off and be taken by one of the captors. Yikes, how's she gonna get that back? They're gonna drop it next to her and leave her with it. Oh, well, that worked out immediately. Yeah, and it has a little knife in it, so she cuts herself loose. A very handy foot. And then she builds a functional gun complete with laser sight out of some scraps, which is a skill that she has. Oh, it is? Yeah, that's a skill that she has. It says so right here. Well, great! So then she's gonna kill a bunch of bad guys, but the final bad guys get a phone call and leave. Well, getting a phone call is pretty scary. Just text me. Well, this phone call is especially scary, because we're gonna find out that the Kingpin is still alive. What? How did he survive getting shot directly in the face? By not dying. Oh, this guy's good. So he shows up and tells Maya, like, hey, I'm okay with you having shot me in the face, and I want you to come to New York, and I'll give you my empire. Oh, well, that's what she wants, right? Yeah, but not like this, because she's mad at Kingpin. He had her father killed. Oh, right, right, right. So she doesn't accept the offer. Nope, and so Kingpin gets so mad that he's gonna attack this big event in town. What's the event? A powwow. Whoa. Wow. So he's got a bunch of bad guys there, and there's a guy with a rocket launcher. He's very scary. He's just gonna blow up a powwow? Yeah, blow up a powwow with the rocket. That seems to be what I've written here. And also, he kidnaps Maya's cousin and grandma. Uh-oh. But the whole family's gonna fight back. Oh, they are? Yeah, even her comic relief cousin, Biscuits. His name is Biscuits? Oh, that is funny. What's he gonna do? Well, <laughs> he crushes, like, 12 men with a monster truck. Oh, my God. And Maya's gotta go up against the kingpin. Well, that's gonna be impossible. The guy's massive. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, she has powers now, so she uses those and shares them with her cousin and grandma. What are the powers? Glowy ones that do whatever I want. Nice, and so she kicks Fisk's butt? No, she's gonna touch him with her glowy mind powers and make him confront his own childhood trauma. Oh. Yeah, so he cries and runs away. Uh, weaponized therapy is tight. And then we're gonna end this whole thing with a nice family barbecue, and everybody's happy. So like a play on the fast and furious thing? No, just literally doing it. Oh, okay. So what do you think? Hey, we've got Daredevil and Kingpin to focus the marketing around. I say we make this TVMA sprinkle a little blood just for publicity's sake. Uh, that should lure people into clicking. Do you think it's bad that we have to lure people now? It might not be. Hi everybody, Ryan George here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I know with everyone's busy schedules, it can be hard to find the time to sit down and watch something of this length. So thank you and don't forget to uh, wipe and wash your hands.